In this presentation, I will show how to use a low-pass filter or demonstrate the concept of a low-pass filter using the software called MATLAB along with its built-in program called Simulink. So this will be a basic tutorial and example of how to use it. The objectives of this presentation is that I'll first explain what an ideal low-pass filter is, then a simple RC low-pass filter. From there I'll do the demo first using Simulink, then MATLAB to demonstrate transfer function command TF as well as the Bode command to plot the system magnitude and phase plots as a function of either the frequency or the radiant frequency. So let's do a quick review of low pass filter. Let's discuss the ideal one case. Ideal low pass filter. We're going to plot the magnitude either as a function of frequency or radiant frequency. This is the magnitude or amplification of a filter. And here an ideal low pass filter looks like that where we have this as a cutoff frequency. So anything below the cutoff frequency gets passed and I'll illustrate that using a Simulink demo. And anything uh, above the cutoff frequency gets rejected. Now it's very difficult to design this type of ideal pass filter and because it's not phys physically realizable. So here's a more practical low pass filter with a longer roll off. And we define the cutoff frequency here. And again, this is the magnitude. So there's the magnitude. Okay, again, the magnitude either defines the amplification or attenuation of an input signal as it passes through the low pass filter. Now, a practical implementation of a low pass filter is governed by this simple RC circuit. Here's our capacitor and our resistor. Here's our input voltage, VI, and our output voltage, VO. And our relationship can be found after transforming this into the Laplace description or frequency domain description where the impedance of C which is stores energy in this case is governed by 1 over J omega C where J is an imaginary number defined as the square root of negative 1. Sometimes you see it as I all as well. C is the capacitor value in farads and our impedance for our resistor, which dissipates energy, is equal to R. Now using the voltage divider principle, we can find the relationship of VO over VI. And that's what this is, is the magnitude of VO over VI. We plot this. This is also called the Bode plot, which I'll demonstrate also in MATLAB. So this would be 1 over J omega C over R plus 1 over J omega C using our voltage divider principle. And if you see this, this is Bode plots is only for pure sinusoidal signals and you use the Laplace description for damp sinusoids. But they still have the same effect. So if I replace S, S in essence is the real part plus imaginary part where this real part is like the attenuation of a sinusoid describing that part of a damp sinusoid and omega is the input frequency associated with this complex number or signal. Now what we can do is saying that this is a pure sinusoid when we say that that means the real part is equal to zero and hence we can say this is one over SC, so that implies S is approximately equal to J omega, and that's R plus 1 over SC, and then that's equal to 1 over RC, S plus 1 over RC. So I put this in this notation because that's how uh, we'll find in MATLAB when we start doing a Simulink example illustrating the low-pass filter. When you look at this 
this is just a ratio of two complex numbers so when you find the magnitude that's just VO over VI the magnitude or the distance which is the real part plus the imaginary part squared and so basically this would be 1 over RC is the numerator and then the denominator since this is like a complex number right here J omega plus this it's 1 over RC squared plus omega squared or s squared but when you what you should see here when omega is equal to 0 the gain of this when omega is equal to 0 that implies that the gain VO over VI is approximately equal to 1 and that when omega is equal to infinity then omega over VI is approximately equal to 0 so as omega gets larger and larger this quantity here goes to 0 now when omega is equal to 1 over RC then we could see here that VO over VI is basically approximately equal to the 0 0.707 that's why we refer here omega C for this RC circuit is approximately equal to 1 over RC the cutoff frequency so here's our point 707 which is less than 1 or 3 dB difference this here has a roll-off of minus 20 dB per decade so now I'm going to illustrate showing you this concept of how this simple RC filter acts like a low-pass filter next we're going to do a simulate demo of how a low-pass filter affects an input signal with different frequencies. Okay, next we'll establish a model using a Simulink. So here it is. We're going to use the continuous functions and we're going to grab this transfer function and we're going to configure it as a low pass filter. So here we'll change the numerator to be 10 and then change this coefficient so the cutoff frequency will be 10 radians per second. We're going to go to our source, pick a sinusoid, sine wave input, and that's right there. And then we'll go to a sink and get an oscilloscope. Okay, then our sink, do an oscope, and then connect it from here to there. So here's our scope. We're going to adjust the sinusoidal frequency. Here in this case it's one radians. We'll put amplitude of five so it displays it on our graph and we'll see how the amplitude changes with frequency. So we'll run it and we see that the output in the scope is uh, displayed in the scope it's still a sinusoid of amplitude 5. Now we'll put it at 10 and should decrease to 0.7 times 5 it should around about 0.35 so we'll change this frequency again of our input to let's say 10 radians per second and we'll run it and you could see here the amplitude is no longer at 5 but it's slightly decreased then finally we'll go 10 times as much by changing our input frequency let's say to 20 radians per second and we'll run it again and we can see that it decreases even more and we'll go 10 times as much so we'll change it to 100 radians per second as the input frequency and we should see our output decreases even more so hopefully this demonstrates that this transfer function as we saw with the RC circuit does exhibit the effects of a low pass filter where it passes frequencies below 10 radians per second and rejects frequencies above 10 radians per second. That concludes this demonstration using Simulink.
The next video will do a demonstration on MATLAB.